I was looking at, at a series of things. The main thing I was looking at was trying to understand how cell membranes function. Why is it that sometimes cell membranes break down very, very quickly and release chemicals into the bloodstream? We didn't solve it, but it was very, very exciting. And of course, opened up the whole biological sciences for me in a way that I hadn't had to do before. Yeah, so you, come, you started as a chemist and then you moved into biology in your, in your DPhil and then so you worked, were you mainly doing experiments or were you mainly doing theory? What kind of work? Did you it was mainly experimental work. And the problem was that some of the experimental work I was doing involved the use of very expensive machines and use was rationed. And so I did find myself with, with quite large expanses of time when I was thinking but not doing experiments. And that's why I began to think the thought, actually, maybe, I, maybe because this science religion thing is so interesting, I need to do more about this. And so I began to dream a dream of studying theology in the spare time I seem to have. And, and so you and you did that. You studied theology here. Did you do that at the same time as your as your PhD? I did, and, and my colleagues thought I was mad. Okay. What happened was I how got. Did you, how did you? How did well, you? Well, let me tell you how it happened. It happened. It happened by accident. Well, well, I say accident, but you know what I mean by that. Yeah. Uh, I got awarded a senior scholarship at Merton College, uh, which was very nice. Two years, fully funded research. And while I was reading the fine conditions of the scholarship, it said you can either do this for um, uh, research or for a second first degree. And I very naughtily went to the senior tutor and said, can I do both at the same time? And he sort of swallowed and he <laughs> hummed and hawed and he said, well, we'll see about this. And anyway, the governing body said, yes, do it. Okay. And so I did my science and my first degree in theology at the same time. And so, you know, in, in three years, I got my DPhil and a uh, first class honours degree in theology. I wouldn't want to do that again, I have to say. It was not good for me, but my goodness, it made me think. And actually, it also, because I, I had to make the best possible use of time, I began to develop this skill of using very small amounts of time in which to do a lot. 